Welcome to my channel. American Canadian Times, subscribe to my channel for news updates all around the world. For decades, Boeing and Airbus have dominated the skies, shaping everything from aircraft design to ticket prices. But now, China is determined to break this duopoly with its own state-owned company, Comac. With China accounting for about 20% of global air travel demand, Comac has a massive home market to launch from. The goal? Transform the duopoly into a triopoly, sparking more competition, innovation, and potentially lower prices for airlines and passengers. Building a modern jet is a monumental challenge, requiring advanced engineering, global supply chains, and rigorous safety standards, yet the rewards are huge, thousands of high-skilled jobs, technological breakthroughs, and a new symbol of national power. For China, COMAC is a cornerstone in its strategy to lead in advanced technology. More competition could mean better deals and more choices for airlines, and eventually, more comfort and innovation for passengers. But it also raises questions about safety and reliability. Any new jet must prove itself as safe as its established rivals. The story of Comac and its new wide-body jet, the C929, could reshape the future of global aviation. The race is on to see if China can truly join the top tier of aircraft makers. The Comac C929 is China's bold entry into the long-haul wide-body jet market. Designed to carry up to 440 passengers over 12,000 kilometers, it's set to compete directly with the Boeing 787 and Airbus A350. The C929 uses advanced composite materials and aerodynamics to boost fuel efficiency and lower costs. Key selling points for airlines, but the C929 is still in development, with its first flight not expected until the late 2020s or early 2030s. After that, it faces years of rigorous testing and certification before it can carry passengers. For now, the C929 is a paper airplane, a promising design that must prove itself in the real world. If successful, it could open a new chapter for China's aviation industry. The journey from blueprint to runway will test China's engineering and industrial ambitions like never before. The engine is the heart of any jet, and the biggest hurdle for the C929, China is developing the CJ2000, a homegrown high-bypass turbofan, to power the C929 and end reliance on Western suppliers. Matching the performance of engines from GE or Rolls-Royce is a massive technical leap, and jet engine technology is among the world's most closely guarded secrets. A domestic engine would shield Comac from political risks and capture more economic value, but the CJ2000 is still unproven and may lag behind Western rivals in efficiency. If the C929 launches with Western engines, it risks the very dependency China wants to avoid. Airlines care most about fuel savings and reliability. If the CJ2000 can't deliver, the C929 could struggle to win orders. The engine's success or failure will define the C929's fate. For now, Comac faces a tough balancing act between independence and competitiveness. The world is watching to see if China can master the most complex part of modern aviation. Comac's strategy for the C929 is all about made in China, aiming for up to 90% of parts sourced domestically. This means working with over a thousand Chinese companies to build everything from fuselage sections to cabin interiors. The goal, reduce reliance on foreign suppliers, insulate against trade risks, and build a resilient, self-sufficient aviation industry. Advanced composite materials are a major focus, with more than half the C929's airframe planned to use Chinese-made composites. Mastering these materials is a key milestone for China's industrial ambitions. But challenges remain. China still lags in critical systems like avionics and flight controls, where Western suppliers lead. Building a domestic supply chain that matches global quality and reliability will take years. The C929's success depends not just on Comac, but on hundreds of Chinese companies meeting the world's highest standards. Localization is a bold bet, but the road to self-sufficiency is long and complex. The world will be watching to see if China can deliver a truly homegrown jet. No modern jet is built in just one country, global supply chains are both a strength and a vulnerability. 
Comac learned this with the C919, which relies heavily on Western engines and avionics. This dependence exposes the C929 to risks from tariffs, trade restrictions or export bans, especially amid rising geopolitical tensions. Intellectual property concerns add another layer of complexity, with Western firms wary of technology transfer and past cases of espionage. In 2025, a case involving stolen jet engine secrets underscored these fears and made Western suppliers even more cautious. Comac's long-term goal is self-sufficiency, but in the short term, it may still need Western engines and systems to compete. This creates a paradox. To compete globally, Comac must partner with the very companies it hopes to surpass. Recent U.S. decisions to allow some technology exports show cooperation is still possible, but the underlying tension remains. The C929's future hinges on navigating this delicate balance between global collaboration and national ambition. Until China can fully localize, the C929 will remain vulnerable to the shifting winds of international politics. The stakes are high, not just for Comac, but for the future of global aviation. The world is watching to see if China can truly break free from foreign technology. Building a jet is only half the battle. Getting it certified to fly worldwide is just as tough. The C929 must earn approval from the FAA and ESA to compete globally. Without it, its market is limited to China and a few allies. Certification is a grueling, years-long process involving exhaustive scrutiny of every design and safety detail. Comax C919 is still working toward European certification, a process expected to take years. The C929, with its new technologies and possibly unproven engine, will face even more intense scrutiny. Airlines and passengers trust only aircraft that meet the world's highest safety standards. Without international certification, the C929 can't win over global airlines or passengers. For Comac, passing this ultimate test is the key to global success. The world's regulators will decide if the C929 is ready for takeoff or grounded by doubt. Certification is the final and perhaps hardest hurdle on Comac's path to the top. Comac isn't betting everything on one plane. The C929 is part of a growing family. The journey began with the C909, a regional jet that gave Comac valuable experience in design and production. The C919, a narrow body jet, is now entering service and has over a thousand orders, mostly from Chinese airlines. Major carriers like Air China are starting to fly the C919, testing Comac's ability to scale up and support its jets. Future projects like the C939 and even a supersonic C949 are already on the drawing board. This step-by-step -step approach, regional, narrow body, then wide body, shows a patient, methodical strategy. Each new jet builds on the lessons of the last, moving China closer to becoming a true aviation powerhouse. Comac's family strategy is about more than planes, it's about building a lasting presence in global aviation. Despite massive government support, Comac faces deep skepticism from the global aviation community. Many see the C929 as a paper airplane until it proves itself in the air and in service. Allegations of technology theft and corporate espionage have made Western suppliers wary of deep partnerships. This mistrust makes it harder for Comac to access the best technology and build global credibility. Airlines demand not just a good plane, but decades of reliable support, something Boeing and Airbus have mastered. Comac is only beginning to build this global support network, a process that will take years. The C919's performance in China is a crucial test. If it's reliable and well-supported, confidence will grow. Some international airlines are watching closely, open to buying if the price and performance are right. Ultimately, trust will be earned through flawless execution, not promises. If Comac delivers on safety, efficiency, and support, it can gradually win over a skeptical world. The rise of Comac and the C929 could transform the global aviation duopoly into a triopoly. In the short term, Comac's biggest impact will be in China, where it will win hundreds of orders and limit Boeing and Airbus's growth. For the Western giants, China will shift from top customer to top competitor, forcing new strategies and more innovation. The C929's global success depends on two things, 
a competitive homegrown engine and international certification. If China achieves both, it will become a true global force in aviation. By 2035, we could see Comac jets flying worldwide, especially in countries with close ties to China. The journey is a marathon, not a sprint, but the future of flight is about to get a lot more competitive. The C929 is just the beginning of a new era in the skies.